welcome to Sport Trek, with Elizabeth Ong, an arts, entertainment and lifestyle channel focusing on Asian culture, film, fashion and much more, including sports. Hey there Sporkies, so now I'm going to try this Pad Thai with shrimp oil for the very, very first time. I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, a lot of reviews say that it's the very best, so we'll see. You gotta use your spork. I mean, you can have silverware or plasticware, but that's for amateurs. You wanna use the spork. The alpaca is a bonus. Usually when you get pad thai, uh, the noodles, I mean the noodles are already sort of white in color and then you have like the natural sauce, you know, sort of. So it's still, you can tell that they're white noodles. But in this case, with the shrimp oil, which is completely infused into the noodles, they're bright orange. And I'll, I'll try and show you. You see? You see here? Bright orange. So now I'm going to give this a taste and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's more delicious. This is indeed spork delicious. You know what? I have to give this five sporks out of five, which is not something that I do all the time, as you loyal followers know. Hmm. My favorite hamburger is. I like it with onions. Some hamburgers only have one bun, that's the bottom. Right? Mm hmm. But some, I like it with a top bun, too. Mm, Tokyo. But I know there's sushi. Yeah. That's been waiting to try. It's chewy. It has um, a flavor, which is really good. Mm. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Welcome to Sport Trek, with Elizabeth Ong, an arts, entertainment, and lifestyle channel focusing on Asian culture, film, fashion, and much more, including sports. This video is sponsored by Woke Toilet Paper. Woke Toilet Paper? All right. It sounds Hello, so familiar. Sporties. Wait, and isn't that what triggered the Great Indian Ocean Fire? Bangkok Ugh. eating. And today I'm at an oyster omelet place that is simultaneously famous and not famous. For some reason, it's never really, really crowded here. Even though this particular joint has a lot of uh, accolades, including mentions in the Michelin Guide. And they're really only known for two dishes. One of these is the fabulous, fabulous, fabulous omelet series. And more specifically, the oysters. So you see here that you basically have an omelet with a bunch of oysters piled on top. This super luscious gooeyness from the oyster sauce, and you eat it with the crispiness of the omelet. Does Wiz not realize she has no audience? Someone once told me. Ever since she took up wool, she washed all the sporky. This was the best she still has us. Dish he had ever eaten paper, so in funny. Bangkok, which is saying a lot. We're all using it for days. Nice food yeah. sauce here. She uh, has the food and she's seen the world. Here, Isn't that so cool? Super luscious, Sporkies. They're very juicy, they're very plump, and they give you a lot. I mean, I count one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least ten. And this is the small version of the omelet, which is 100 Thai baht. Street food stalls in Bangkok do not have tissues readily available. So make sure to bring some wet wipes or, you know. Whoa, toilet paper. The only gluten-free, organic, free-range, non-problematic toilet paper brand. Woke, available at your nearest farmer's market. Warning, only use as prescribed. Do not consume liquids three hours before or after using. Should not be exposed to any kind of light. Should not be used in bathrooms. May catch fire if you try to flush it down the toilet. Safer to dispose of by burning in a bonfire.